let's have a look at how we can sample color from an image here inside of InDesign. So we'll be using the eyedropper tool in just a minute, but before I show you that, I need to show you a couple of quick things with swatches. So I have the swatches panel open just here. We have two little swatches just here. You can also see those repeated in the control panel just up here, and also at the bottom of the tools panel just down here. So I'm gonna zoom in on the swatches panel just here. Now this first swatch represents the fill color. It's currently set to none and the stroke swatch is currently set to none also. Now, if we were to sample a color right now, it would fill the fill swatch just here. If we wanted to change that to sample a color and change the stroke color, we would click on the stroke to bring that to the front and give that focus. So I want to be changing fill colors, so I'll bring the fill swatch to the front there like so. Okay, very nice. So let's press the I key on our keyboard or come over to the tools panel just here and choose the eyedropper tool. So let's zoom in on this flower just here. I also want you to get a good look at the icon just here for the eyedropper tool. So notice it's currently filled with nothing and it's also leaning to the right. So watch what happens when I click just now. Did you see the icon change? It switched from leaning to the right to leaning to the left and they're now also simulating that there is some ink inside of this eyedropper tool. So let's zoom out just here and see what happened when we did that. So here inside of the swatches panel and in those other locations I pointed out a moment ago, you can see we have sampled this pink color. Very nice. So what do we do with this? Well, we could go straight out to the flyout menu for swatches and choose new color swatch, which is okay. And you can see the color we've sampled. We have now added that as a swatch. Very nice. Also with the eyedropper tool, it's now basically in a mode where having sampled a color we are now in a mode where we can actually deliver that color to something else. So we have a rectangle just here. If I was to click just now, and again, noticing it's the fill that I'm targeting just here, I would now change that rectangle to be that fill color. Click on this one, we can do the same, very nice. Okay, so how do we reset this eyedropper tool? Well, the crude way would be to go and select another tool, such as the selection tool, and then come back to the eyedropper tool, and you can see it's now leaning to the right and it's still uh, empty like it was initially. So we could go sample another color such as this green just up here. You can see the green is now in our swatches panel just here. And now again, the mode has changed. So I can go and click on different items and change them to that new sampled color. Obviously very tedious, it's working, but it's tedious. So a better way to reset the eyedropper tool is holding down your Alt or your Option key. So now I'm hovering over say, this flower just here, I'm holding down Alter Option. While I'm holding that down, you can see that the eyedropper tool is resetting itself. I can click, sample a new color, and then come over here and change anything else I want. Again, maybe I want to sample this pink just down here, hold down Alter Option, sample that color, go and click and recolor anything else that I like. There is an even faster way to do this if you're wanting to use the eyedropper tool to change the color of things, and that is to actually select those things first. So if I hold down the command or the control key now, it'll temporarily give me the selection tool. So I can go and select these two items, just hold down my shift key to select that second item. So now I have these two items, these two rectangles selected, and I have the eyedropper tool selected. And now I will hold down the alt or the option key and wherever I click, it will change the fill color. Just reminding you, of course, I have the fill targeted over here inside the swatches panel. So now very quickly holding down alt or option, I can run through any image here inside of this document and change these rectangle colors. So maybe I'll come through here and, okay, I'm pretty happy with those colors. So I might just leave it there, guys. So that's the eyedropper tool in InDesign for sampling colors from images. Hope it helps, guys. Happy designing.